What is up guys, Delboy here. A short video, but I wanted to put this one out because I think this is a fight that is going under the radar. And unfortunately, as of right now, no UK broadcaster is picking this fight up. And that fight is between Kerman Leharaga and David Avanesian. This fight goes down on the 30th of March, and it is for Leharaga's uh, European welterweight title. And I have to say, I think this is a good fight. Uh, Leharaga may be more well known to the UK fans. He's coming off two good wins over Bradley Skeet and Frankie Gavin. He knocked out Frankie Gavin in four rounds. If memory serves, he knocked out Frankie Gavin with a body shot, and he knocked out Bradley Skeet in two rounds. You know, Skeet and Gavin were two domestic level operators in the UK in the welterweight division. And the way Leharaga just walked through both of them was mightily impressive. And those two performances really got me interested in following Leharaga's career. You know, Leharaga, he is fairly basic, but, you know, he's a strong guy with a good high guard, good body puncher, and, you know, he carries genuine punching power. He's also fairly good at applying pressure, closing the distance, and cutting off the ring. Basically, Leharaga is a very aggressive fighter. And I think if this guy is matched correctly, he can be involved in some very fun fights. And I believe the fight with David Avenesian could be very fun, and I believe it will be a good watch for the spectators. I've got to say, I do believe David Avenesian is a step up for Kerman Leharaga. I certainly think Avenesian is better than Frankie Gavin and Bradley Skeet. I would take Avenesian to certainly beat Bradley Skeet, and also I would favour him to beat Frankie Gavin. So I do, I do actually see this as a slight step up for Leharaga, and I think it's a good bit of matchmaking for him, to be completely honest. Um, David Avenesian himself, you know, he's a fairly well-rounded fighter, He's not a top 10 welterweight, I wouldn't even say he's a top 15 welterweight, but, you know, he does the basics well, he's got fairly good technique, a decent jab, a decent punch variety, um, good output, he's fit, he's, um, you know, got good stamina, he's fairly decent. He's mixed it with some okay competition in the past, um, he actually gave Lamont Peterson a decent fight back in 2017, he lost that fight by a decision. And he also lost to um, Kavalauskas, the Lithuanian welterweight. He gave a good account of himself in that fight too, but he got stopped in the end in that fight. Um, his best wins include wins over the likes of an old Shane Mosley and an old Kaiser Mabuza. They are his best wins, so, you know, he's not really beat anybody of any consequence. But still, from watching him, Avanesian is the type of fighter who can handle himself, he can take care of himself at a pretty decent level, as we saw in the Peterson fight, and I think it's a good fight for Kerman Leharaga. I do expect Leharaga to win this fight, I think he's coming off some good momentum, he's been fairly active in recent months, and you know, I don't think Avanesian can stay away for the full 12 rounds, I believe Leharaga will catch up to Avenesian, and I believe Leharaga will score a late stoppage. I just don't think Avenesian has the sufficient boxing skills to stay away for 12 rounds, and he certainly doesn't have the punching power to keep Leharaga honest, and I don't believe he has the physical strength to, you know, kind of like neutralise Leharaga on the inside. I think Avenesian will show a good account of himself. I do believe Avenesian will last longer than Bradley Skeet and Frankie Gavin, but I still don't see him as having enough to win this fight. Like I said, he can give Leharaga some problems early on, but I believe Leharaga will eventually get to him. I think Leharaga's ceiling is better than the likes of David Avenesian. I don't think Leharaga is going to win a world title. I believe he will come up short at the elite level, but, you know, I, I do believe Leharaga 
could maybe crack the top 10 at welterweight. And I, be- I, I do believe he can beat some fringe world-level guys. You know, guys like maybe Andre Berto or Adrian Broner, people like that. I do believe he could potentially beat guys like that. Um, but regardless, Kerman Leheraga versus David Avanesian, 30th of March for the European welterweight title. I think this is a good fight. And listen, regardless of how far Leheraga goes, regardless of what I think of his potential, one thing I can guarantee, it's going to be a very fun ride following his career. Kerman Leheraga is fan-friendly. That's all you need to know. Um, So yeah, share your thoughts below. What do you make of this fight? Are you interested in this fight? Are you interested to see what Leheraga has at a slightly higher level? Or maybe you don't even rate Avanesian as high as Frankie Gavin and Bradley Skeet. Share your thoughts below. I'm keen to hear your opinions. Peace.